The universe is infinitely vast, and inside of it are mysteries that physicists have long tried to unravel. One of the most fascinating oddities of deep space that we know of is the existence of black holes. But did you know that out of this infinite vastness lies a black hole's theoretical twin, the white hole? White holes are considered to be the exact opposite of black holes, and with the help of JWST, scientists will finally reveal the truth about them. The James Webb Telescope was finally deployed in outer space in December 2021. After months of calibration, it has finally embarked on its first set of missions which include finding the truth about exoplanets, the first galaxies ever formed, and the origin of life in the universe. One of the most important tasks of the web is to find the truth about black holes. It's a phenomenon that has puzzled researchers for more than a century and understanding them will then lead us to uncover other mysteries like the existence of white holes. So first, let's take a closer look at black holes. Imagine a star that is 10 times as massive as the sun, but imagine it's squeezed into the area of a small city instead. The massive amount of matter packed into a much smaller area will produce a gravitational pull so strong that nothing can escape, not even light, the fastest moving matter in the universe. This region in space sucking up everything in its path is called a black hole. However, beyond this theoretical understanding, we know nothing about black holes. We know that they suck in every nearby object, but we don't exactly know what happens inside them. For that, we have to rely on equations and calculations by physicists. The most famous theory predicting the existence of black holes is Einstein's theory of general relativity. It showed that when a massive star reaches the end of its life, it implodes and collapses on itself. This leaves behind a dense core and if the core's mass is more than three times the mass of the sun, the force of gravity overwhelms all other forces and produces a black hole. The understanding of white holes extends from black holes. White holes are the exact opposite of black holes. So, while a black hole laps up everything in its path and doesn't allow anything to leave, the reverse is true for a white hole. Nothing can enter it, and unlike a black hole, it constantly emits matter and light. And once something leaves a white hole, there's no way back for it. Scientists have tried to make sense of white holes for the longest time. If black holes are formed with the collapse of a star, a white hole will be formed in reverse. Some authors have likened it to an egg unscrambling itself, which is why some scientists believe that a white hole cannot be created. However, others have argued, what if they have always existed? This theory was further strengthened in the 1970s when Stephen Hawking realized that black holes leak energy. This means that a black hole can in fact evaporate away. But if that's the case, then what happens to everything that a black hole holds inside it? General relativity says nothing escapes a black hole while quantum mechanics forbids the deletion of any matter. So what happens at the end of a black hole's life cycle? White holes solve that mystery. Stephen Hawking and others have proposed that supermassive black holes are the origin of a white hole, which is to say that a white hole is the death of a black hole. In a 2014 study, Italian physicist Carlo Rovelli suggested that once a black hole shrinks to its smallest, which is when space-time could not be squeezed any further, this dying black hole rebounds to form a white hole. This explanation of the black holes also solves another great mystery and tells us what really happens at the center of a black hole. Just like black holes, white holes may be one of the ingredients of dark matter that we cannot explain. The existence of white holes will also radically alter our understanding of the Big Bang. According to one hypothesis, all the matter and energy that falls into a black hole gets rerouted into a new area of space-time, forming the beginning of a new universe. The massive energy inside a black hole would come out time-reversed as a white hole, 
And that would seem like a big bang to the new universe. So, while some researchers have proposed that we might be living inside a black hole, the opposite might be true. According to black hole physicists like Hal Haggard, the Big Bang's explosion of matter and energy has all the makings of a white hole behavior. Haggard believes that the geometry is very similar in two cases, even to the point of being mathematically identical at times. So, we may just be living inside a white hole. Nothing is certain and the possibilities are infinite. To understand these possibilities and to take us closer to the truth, NASA has created the most powerful telescope ever. The JWST will take us closer to the Big Bang and reveal what has remained unknown for billions of years. Through the Hubble telescope, we have already seen as far as the epoch of ionization and the JWST will now take us even further and will tell us more about black holes and the existence of white holes. One secret that the James Webb may reveal is what do white holes look like? According to our current understanding, when observed from a spaceship at a distance, a white hole may look exactly like a black hole with a ring of dust and gas around it. However, when observed for long periods, the astronauts observing it will witness it emitting substances, an event impossible for a black hole. It is only then that the observer will realize it's a white hole. Another intriguing prospect of the white hole-black hole debate is what would happen when these two great forces of the universe meet. They are exact opposites of each other and their theorized behavior might tell us a lot about a meeting between the two. When a black hole approaches a white hole, chances are that a black hole will instantly get an advantage. While they might have the same energy, they behave in opposite ways which means a black hole will try to swallow a white hole while a white hole will spit energy out. The matter the white hole expels will become a source of energy for the black hole, and given the massive size of the two, this phenomenon will be observed for thousands of years. At the end of it all, the black hole will finally swallow the white hole in its entirety, and what we will be left with would be a massive black hole at the center of the universe. As of now, we can't say anything for sure about white holes. Even our understanding of black holes is very limited. What we do know is that black holes exist, and with the help of the James Webb Telescope, we may finally prove the existence of their neglected twin. They may not act the way that many have theorized, but what can't be denied is that their discovery with the JWST will change everything we know about the universe.